vapor kit back. I'm going to make you a little video and show you what I'm going to be using for wicking material. I told you before that you could use uh, paper towels. That works good, but this is the best. It's what I've been using. I've been using these baby diapers. What they are is they're for soaking up gasoline and oil. They're really super absorbent pads. And if you really want to do good, this is what I'm going to be using. These are out of a humidifier for in the wintertime to keep moisture in your house. They really work good. And this is what I'm going to be using. But I'll show you what I've got. Get you a regular ammo box. I've got it lifted. I got it right here where I got a paper towels folded up in a screen and I just lay it in there. And that way when you fill it up with gasoline the air will blow over it, pass through each one and by the time it comes out you got 100% pure vapor. Now, over here, a lot of guys were telling me, well, you know, you're going to have a human bomb carrying this around. Well, I'm not going to use this in my truck. This is just for experimental and when I use my HHO torch, press an HHO in it. But over here, this is what I'm going to use. It's a carbon monoxide bottle that they've been using for matrix fire extinguishers. And we're looking at some thick steel, at least almost a half an inch. So when I get this all fixed up and press it with gas paper, I don't have to worry about some car hitting me because if he does, he's not going to dent it. It's going to be a lot, lot safer than that. But over here, if you don't want to go with the compressed vapor under pressure, I got a big ammo box. I'm going to run three of these. What I'll do is in the inside I'm going to put a bulkhead so half of its fuel is sealed up just like a fuel tank on a car. The rest will be open air so it flows through it. I'm going to take these, I'm going to put three of them like that. And the air will go over the top of it and there you go. You know, It's a simple way to do it and you can really get the vapor that you want out of it. And just to show you how much this thing will saturate. This is dry completely. I'll stick it in this little bit of gas and watch it. You can just start to see it soaking it up. It's already up to here. By the time you fill it up halfway with fuel, this thing will just soak it up like a soda straw. She's up to here right now. It's just constantly wicking it. That's the best way. That's the way I'm going to build it. And also when you run it, you don't want to use a little tiny tube on a car. That's okay for a lot more. But this is what I'm going to use. It's a two inch pipe, plastic PCB pipe. Just go ahead, or either you can go ahead and use a whatever fits your needs. You can weld a two inch piece of pipe on each end and then run it into your air box 
on your car. As you're running it, it'll draw that vapor right through that wicks, and she'll run it. I have no doubt. And over here, I'll go ahead and just go show you I'm running the same wicking system with the gas. Completely out. I'll go ahead and start it up. Just pull in the vacuum through that hole. Passing through the whips, coming up, going through the pump, compressing. I'll build it up to 30 pounds and shut it off. There was one person asking me, how come you only pump it up to 40 pounds? Well, on a fuel injected car, all you've got to do is have 40 pounds and it'll operate all the way down to 30 on the injectors. As long as them injectors are opening and closing, It'll work. I put this camera in the tripod and I like off of what I just got done pumping in to the tank. And turn the light off. That's what came out of that uh, filter that I was running. I've only got two of them. Anyway. I got plenty of five of them. So you can get two again. Without problems, we do it now. So, anyway, I just wanted to show you types of wicks that you can use. And I noticed one thing when you run that system on your car as it's under pressure and pumping it in, that gasoline gets ice cold. I'm thinking about heating the fuel, putting like a water jacket around it, heating it up to about engine operating temperature, and having another container filled up with gasoline to heat that, and then run it your, with your wicks. If you heat it, it's even going to stretch it, stretch the mileage out more. But you know, it's just going to take experimenting and find out which way is the best. Next time I make a video, I'll have it on my truck 
and I'll show you what it'll do. Talk to you later. Vapor Kid.